Good morning, my name is Mark Wagner. Today I'm gonna to be going over all the upgrades I did on my 2015 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited. So I ordered it from the factory with all the options I wanted. I picked it up on December 13th, 2014. Uh, MSRP for my Jeep was $41,860. I got the connectivity group, the tow package, auto transmission, air conditioning with the automatic temperature control, heated front seats, color matched hard top, remote start, and then 410 gears, which when I went with 37s, I changed those to 48 Yukon gears. Starting with the front, it's a stock hood. I did remove the Rubicon stickers and I went with off-road evolution stickers. Rugged Ridge aluminum hood catch set. Uh, the first thing I did was I did plasti dip the grill to protect it from rocks and chips, so it's had that on there about five and a half years. Under the hood, I have a K&N high flow washable air filter, a 12 volt, 12 volt power distribution system, which is the trigger six shooter. And I have two Lux lighting systems, rock lights under the hood that are controlled through the trigger system if I ever need light under there. JW speaker headlights and the bumper is an Evo quarter pounder with the Evo Revolution Stinger. Came powder coated. The va vacuum pump was relocated into the bumper using the Evo back pump relocation bracket. The winch is a Warren power plant 9.5 and it has a built-in compressor. Line pole is about 9,500 pounds. It came with wire rope, but I did upgrade that to Warren Spidera synthetic winch line. The winch fair lead is also Evo. It's black powder coated. Front axle wise, I've got the Poison Spider bombshell diff covers. Those are the new style ones. And the sea gussets from Evo manufacturer welded for the sea gusset strength. And there's a uh, 1310 front drive shaft. Moving around to the passenger side, we can start at the top here. It's a Poison Spider A-pillar light bar mount, which is color matched. And then the 50 inch light bar is the Rough Country Black Series, uh, dual row. Uh, 23,000 lumens, IP67 waterproof rating. It's a good light bar. Uh, I think it comes with like a three year warranty. Um, as far as the cubes, that is also a Poison Spider mount and those are Rough Country Black Series two inch square cubes. Uh, typical stubby antenna that everybody does on these things. Uh, the fenders are the MCE Gen 3. These were the, these are the factory width and they're color matched. Um, those also have a really good warranty, a lifetime warranty against cracking. Um, they're made so that they would bend if you actually were rock crawling and hit a rock, they would bend and then bend back into place. And if they don't, um, you can get some new ones sent to you. From what I understand, it's a pretty good warranty. Uh, tires and wheels. I've got the Cooper Discovery STT Pro tires. They're 37 by 13 and a half. It's a 17 inch wheel. Um, the, the wheel is a 17 by nine ATX slab beadlock and all the lugs are um, wheel locks. I did the brakes. The brakes are the PowerStop Z36 truck and tow brakes. Those are zinc plated drilled and slotted rotors and low dust pads. Suspension can start those. Uh, that's an Evo Pro Stage 2 front and rear coilover suspension system. They're 2.5 inch King coilovers with remote reservoirs. They're custom valved and tuned by Evo Manufacturing and the, it comes with the adjustable front lower control arms to correct the caster. Um, it, it's a low center of gravity um, suspension. It's adjustable from anywhere from three to five inches. Uh, I believe that's what it goes to. Um, I'm probably sitting about four, four and a half maybe. Uh, moving along the side here, the rocker protection, those are, um, Evo rock sliders and Evo rock skins. So the sliders are powder coated and the 
uh, skins are color matched painted and they're well the the rock sliders are welded on there to the frame um, they'll support the weight of the jeep no problem as you can see i got a few scratches there uh, from when i've been wheeling before and they do what they're supposed to they protect the rocker panels um, really well moving along to the back So it's an Evo Pro Series hinged gate carrier. Uh, it's got a full size spare on there. The tire carrier also holds the CB antenna and the race radio antenna. Um, that's where the race radio antenna goes. And the CB antenna is back towards the center. The high lift is on an Evo high lift jack mount. Um, high lift jack is on there. And Inside the wheel, I got a bunch of stuff going on. Um, the, the whole mechanism, I can remove everything here, the plate and the cameras and the rigid light is all on a KD Fabwork spare license plate mount for rigid chase. So it's built to hold the rigid chase LED tail light, which I'm using as my third brake light. And then uh, it's got two cameras, uh, the license plate one, Right there is a pumpkin license plate. I only use that for my backup camera for when I'm in reverse. And then the camera below that is the Blackview rear dash cam. It's a waterproof uh, dash cam uh, rear facing that runs and records all the time. And I'll go over the Blackview when I get to the interior. It's a, it's a great camera, um, great system. Uh, the headlights are also JW, or the tail lights, I mean, are JW speaker LED to match the headlights. The bumper, I uh, love this bumper. It's an Evo Pro Series rear bumper. I uh, love the lines on it. Um, fits the hitch, the stock hitch and everything uh, perfectly. Um, you'll notice that I've got some extra um, room in the back. Usually there's a big, ugly, rusting muffler there. Um, uh, from the cat back, I have a Magnaflow um, that I had a local exhaust shop do and you can see it kind of dumps out on the left, but it's, uh, it's all tucked up in the frame, so you're not gonna be smashing it. As far as the rear interior goes, that is one of the best things, and one of the first things I bought is the Mopar rubber rear cargo liner. I've got those uh, throughout the Jeep. Um, there are two poison spider um, fire extinguisher holders and in the fire extinguisher holders on the left I've got a kitty um, red just for basic basic fires and on the right I have the white which is for liquid gas or electrical and then the harness bar for the rear is a rock hard it's the rear seat harness bar um, both antennas that I use are held up on the roll bar with some uh, spider sunshade balls that they, I got a couple extras of those. And so if you ever need them, they're there. They're not stored in the garage somewhere. They're easy to get to. Moving along to the side. Got the, uh, what is that, the Mopar fuel filler door uh, in the rear interior. Again, uh, Mopar flush ma or, uh, slush mats, they call them. Um, the harnesses are four-point crows, and they're nice because they have a nice little easy buckle that the kids can easily do. I pretty much have those in there just for when the doors are off or if I'm doing, um, you know, any kind of... Um, four-wheeling where I might think they they would need something like that and but most of the time they're just using the stock uh, seatbelt which still works with those the um, there's a rock hard front harness bar with the pad and I don't have any harnesses hooked up to the front right now but they could easily put be put in um, the 
the rear seat um, does have a little bit better of a recline to it because I have the Innovative Products recline kit. Um, that's a must, I think, if you have people sitting in the back. Otherwise, it just sits too straight up. Uh, it's really nice to do that. Um, under the passenger side uh, seat, I do have a powered subwoofer. Uh, the control is up front by my e-brake, so I can turn it up or down. And uh, speaking of speakers, all the speakers have had the kicker speaker upgrade kit um, done. As far as the front goes, um, there's a, you can probably see it since I have the top off, there's a spider sunshade that runs front to back. That's great. Um, that is kept on even when the top, the hard top is on. The, uh, I have the Evo complete chromoly sport cage. Um, that's great. I love that the, that the crossbar is flat. I have a bunch of magnets on there that hold my phones. Um, typically, if I'm out and maybe um, doing some overlanding or something, uh, in the center I'll put a small tablet and then my phone will go over here and my wife's phone or a passenger phone can go over there. And when I'm not doing that, I just put my cell phone right in the center there. The, uh, there's a couple radios up here. I've got a CB and a race radio. The race radio is a BTEC 50 watt dual band uh, base mobile radio. And the CB is a Uniden, Bearca uh, Uniden Bearcat with the side band and weather band. Uh, the dash cam is up against the mirror. You can hardly see it. It is the Blackview DR650GW two channel truck. Uh, it does 100, uh, 1080p dual lens. Uh, Wi-Fi so you can connect to it from your phone and it's uh, you know got the waterproof rear it's a great dash cam what's nice is it also tracks uh, GPS so you can get um, right from their app you can get front rear and then a map great for if you're tracking a new trail and you want to record it the um, in the center I have three USB uh, one is kind of a loose that plugs right into the deck. So I'll use that for my phone or my iPad for Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And then I wired up two, and I kind of modified the, the pan down there with two uh, USBs so that I can charge phones or tablets um, right on anything that's plugged into the dash. The deck is a Kenwood DDX 9703S. It's a touchscreen. Um, and then I have the uh, iDatalink Maestro, so all the steering wheel controls work just fine for the Kenwood deck. Um, I have a wired ODB link that goes to the deck right now, but I'll also sometimes use a wireless one if I want my, uh, my ODB link information to go to a, uh, my tablet. The speedometer adjustments were all done. Uh, speedometer and TPMS were done with the AEV ProCal module. Again, a rubber flush mat or rubber slush mats up front here. The all the interior lights are LED. Um, you can get those kits on Amazon pretty cheap, but something a little extra I did is the map lights. Um, to do the map lights, they're actually welded on. That's why you don't get you can't get an LED kit with those. So what I did was I took apart the mirror, um, unsoldered the lights, and then soldered a couple Cree LED lights for the map lights. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick demo of the camera system I have underneath the Jeep. You access it on the deck by hitting the cam button. Let me turn on some rock lights so we have something to see. The default view is all four cameras. Upper left is the front facing cam. It's looking at my garage door right now. Upper right is the rear diff. Lower left is the front passenger, or front driver, I mean, and the lower right is the front passenger. It has a RF remote. You can switch between several different modes. The most often you want to see just one camera. You can look at the front, rear, full screen, and then driver and passenger. And then there's a bunch of other modes. I'll scroll through them. It's basically different combinations of the cameras. So we'll start with the four again. Just kind of scroll through these. Uh, 
that's about it for the camera. The six shooter is right there. You can see you can turn on all the lights from right here. The map lights I mentioned that I redid, they're right here. Normally those lights are all kind of gross and yellow. And that's about it. Um, the other thing that it has is uh, it has a total of 16 um, Lux Max um, rock lights. They're all white. Um, they're, I've got two under the front bumper. Let's see if I can show that. And actually you can see the cameras as well. Um, but I've got two under the front bumper and then two cameras, one facing each front wheel. And then I have a forward facing cam. And then uh, each wheel well has one. And so uh, one under each wheel well. And then as you go along the side, I've got three uh, on each side. And then the rear's got two, as well as one uh, camera facing the rear axle. So a total of seven per side, basically, uh, for a total of 14 rock lights. It really lights up well. I also showed it as well. And then there's a poison uh, spider evap skid plate um, and the, all the rest of the skid plates are stock so that's about it that's my jeep uh, all the options i love it it's been a great vehicle and uh yeah that's it thank you for watching